Hey guys, I'm Sam Crack, and behind me is a car I picked up at my local auction just yesterday, really cheap. It's got two doors, a V8 engine, and a huge cult following. When I saw this thing, I immediately thought of my assistant, Sage. You see, he likes cars that are unique, but need a little bit of work, and that's exactly what this is. It's got a solid drivetrain, but I went and sabotaged it. Today, we're going to surprise Sage with this car and give him the opportunity to win it if he can figure out why it no longer runs. Now, Sage has been working with me the last several months and we've worked on everything from an Aston Martin to Ferrari to Corvettes and Audis and BMWs. So I want him to apply his experience and see if he can't figure out why this car doesn't work. If he can figure it out in a certain amount of time, well, he's gonna take it home and if he can't, well, one of you guys are gonna take it home. He has to win this car. That is one of the big stipulations. Now Sage actually tried to call out sick today and I told him I really, really need him. So he is on his way. He'll be here in probably about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna run away from the car here. I don't want him asking too many questions. We're just gonna kind of ambush him and surprise him with it. All right, Sage and I were just touching up a few things on this Audi and I'm really running out of stuff for him to do since we finished up a lot of our projects. So we were hanging out talking and I'm like, how can I get him away from here? So I just found a bottle of windshield washer fluid. I asked him to go fill up the Corvette because it keeps telling me it's low on the dashboard. It's not, uh, but we're gonna go over there right now and surprise him and tell him that that car out in the field is actually his. Well, if he can win it. Sage, we're running out of things to do here. That's first. There you go. All right, so you asked about it. I tried to like stay away so you didn't ask very many questions, but you asked about the car that is in the, the field out there that you've not seen before. Yeah. All right, what do you think that is? I didn't get a good look at it. I just drove past it. I'm going. All right, wait. Yeah. I'm gonna have you guess that question when we get closer to it so yeah. you get a better idea of what it is. Now, when I met Sage, he told me he's really into I, I can't even use the word, but like, let's just say crappy cars. Like you like yeah. crappy cars, right? So today, Sage, you're gonna have the opportunity to win a crappy car, okay? Okay. And I have to ask you, where do you think the majority of your mechanical knowledge has come from? Does it come from this job? Probably, yeah. Or, I mean, you don't have I would to- I yeah, mechanical. most of it, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna apply most of the stuff that Sage has learned working in the field and not like in some career field, like literally in this field yeah. right here to this car. It's not as bad as it, well, here, let's just walk over there and let's check it out. This is real, Sage, you have to win this car. I'm not worried, I'll win, yeah. Okay, guys, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Every time I give Sage a job, I say, are you sure you got this? You don't need my help. What do you always say? I'm confident. He says, I'm confident. That's every single time. And about, I'd say 50, 60% of the time. The first time it works, but then the second time, that uh, increases about like 75%. Yeah, something like Sometimes that. Sometimes it yeah. takes three or four times, but that's okay. What is the car you tell me you always wanted? What do you- what, C5 Corvette. A C5 Corvette. So what do you think is under this? Just looking at it. This is not a C5 Corvette. Yes, prepare to be disappointed. Sage, let's take the cover off. Let's see what we got. What do you think? This is a no 2006 Monte Carlo <laughs> SS. The car inspired by NASCAR in, oh, yeah. in body only. They didn't actually engineer it around a NASCAR at all. I think the best part about this car, honestly, look at those wheels, they're sharp, Yeah, right? they're nice. What do you think about this car? I don't it's, think it's bad, it just it, needs a little love. A little love, it's an yeah. SS, a V8 under the hood. I know you've always wanted a V8. Oh yeah, there we go. What do you think? It's nice. You like it? It's not it, bad, right? yeah. I, I rock with it. Clean title. Oh, there we go. That's one owner, two sets of keys, oh, and yeah, only yeah. a very low two accidents on its history report. This Southern Specialty was running just about 24 hours ago. Here, I'm gonna show you really quick a video on my phone. You can see it here, it's driving off the trailer. It did it all under its own power. Okay. But I sabotaged it after I got it home from the auction and you've got one hour to figure out exactly what's wrong with this car or else a subscriber is going to win this car. All right, I wrote up all these rules. Listen to them carefully. You gotta go by every single one of these. If you break any of the rules, it's done. It's going to subscribers, not going to you. First one, no cell phones, period. Where's your cell phone? Okay, yeah, no I don't need a phone. phone on. No cell phones. Not word. Number two, all the tools and supplies you might need are located right there in the back of the golf cart. I will read each clue once, but you can have the clue reread at any time you want. If you get stuck on any clue, you can skip one time only. But a skip doesn't mean we eliminate the step at all. It means we have to go back to it when you're done finishing the other step. So you get one skip. You can have one lifeline 
which is in the form of a phone call to a famous YouTube mechanic. This car must move under, over the finish line under its own power. And if it does in the time allotted, it's yours. If it doesn't, remember, it's going to a subscriber, but you're gonna have to fix it up before we give it to that subscriber. The finish line is the cattle gate down there. And the second you have all four wheels on the road, it's yours. Okay. The timer will start once I read the first clue. Sage told me the best rapper of all time is Jack Harlow, which sounds like something someone would say if they drove a Monte Carlo. Sage, come on, get into this, man. Jeez. I'm waiting for the hit. Hopefully you get this car for free, but you won't get very far without the key. Okay. Head over to the barn and look up tall. You won't find it in either the rooms or the stall. Time starts now. Okay. Better go. You only got an hour. Look at him walking. Dude, I'm not worried. I, yeah, I, I, I know. Confidence. It's definitely just sitting up on one of the beams or something. Okay. Look at him walking. I no, like dude, this. it's got to be on here. I like this really, really casual walk. Up high. I like it. Look at this. Rosary beads. You might want to say a quick prayer. Yeah, for real. Well, okay. Dude. Okay, we're not up. Oh, oh, here we go. Look at that. I can't That's believe you That's too easy. Too I told you, this is why we walk. All right, all right, all right, here we go. So here we go. All right, Sage, I'm gonna have to give you an extra 10 seconds. Yeah, that's what we're, okay, now I'm gonna run. All right, see ya. <laughs> you might think Sam is down to earth, but he's been off a bit since birth. Anyone who paints their Lamborghini purple is clearly misled. Well, either way, at least, he didn't go with red. You might want to try and start the car first and see if it works. Nah, uh, you got the power of the battery cable off. All right, red? Look at this guy. Well, go ahead, see what happens. What's going on? Oh, we're, 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 in? yeah, keys in, nothing. Okay, nothing. Dead, right? Yeah. Geez, this guy's running through this real quick. How, okay, how I don't many? like these being in here. Oh, darn. <laughs> I left a tool in there, that's like a, uh, a little hint. He's looking all over, looking all over. I mean, where could it be? Hmm. See, this is why Sage needs to run, right here. Come on, Sage. I thought that, he, you know, this is like the easy part right here, right? This is, this no, is like the easy this... part. Do you want me to read it again? Yeah, read it again. All right. You might think Sam is down to earth, but he's been a bit off since his birth. Anyone who paints their Lamborghini purple is clearly misled. Well, either way, at least he didn't go with red. There we go. I've never seen one of these before. Well, yeah, okay, so look. Figured it out. Look okay, there we go. All right, go ahead. Give it a crank. See what goes. Literally. He's less than four minutes in. He's already got the car cranking. He's gonna win this thing. No. Look at him. He's still trying for it. Like, like I'm gonna let him off that easy. Yeah, Come I was on, open, Sage. so yeah. Come on. Okay, well, now we need the next. All right, next clue. What am yeah. I doing? All right, this is a good one. You hear that noise? Yeah. That has nothing to do with the next clue. So, baby, give me that toot toot. Let me give you that beep beep. Running her hands through my fro, bouncing on twenty foes. While they say on the radio, this the remix to ignition. Right? Go ahead. Yeah. Ignition. Look at this guy. He's he knows he knows the missing word. See, I thought he was a bit too young for that Robert Kelly reference, okay? I think that's our time. Okay, he gets the word, but where do we look? Yeah, I know, that's where I'm at right now. Oh. Oh, you took a bunch of them out. There you go. Look at this, look at this. Look at this guy. Now see this is the thing. We worked on this, on the Corvette. Like, uh, this is just stuff that I think Sage should figure out. You hear that thing tapping away in there? My God. Okay, you got him plugged yeah, in. Yeah, right, give, give it a crank, Yeah, Sage. now we give got me a this. crank. Huh, it still doesn't work. All right, now we need another hint. No, we don't need another hint. You're still stuck on number three. I mean, I, I feel like giving him a hint because this is like, come on. 
Why in the heck is he not taking the engine cover off? We can take the engine cover off. Everything's safe. Oh, the engine cover, Sage. Come on, dude. Oh, you find okay. anything else? Oh, yeah, I got the rest of them. Well, we got, okay, look. Yeah. Oh, well, we were dealing with an SS. He only plugged in four of the coils. I didn't tracks, think you'd right? go as I far mean, as going on. all the way back here. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm going to give away a car. That, this actually costs a decent amount of money. All the cars right now cost an ungodly amount of money. One, two, three. Yep. One more. A little blind under here. There we go. There. All right. So tell me what you're doing, Sage. You got. Yeah, we're putting the plugging in the ignition uh, wires. Okay. Okay. And, well, uh, yeah. Now we're gonna start it. It's gonna right. start. It's gonna start, right? I hope so. Yeah. We still got. What are we? 15 minutes into this? We're not even 15 minutes into this. I mean, Sage is less than seven minutes into this, and I hate to tell you, Sage, you're still stuck on clue number three. Okay. Okay. Listen to the thing. Listen, just for the sake of the quality of this video, everybody, I'm taking the key out of the darn ignition. So that tapping noise you're hearing is probably a blend door actuator. It's a common failure on a lot of American cars. It's really cheap to fix. It's a thing that opens and closes the vents from, you know, recirculation to regular uh, fresh air mode. And it's probably pretty cheap. And Sage is definitely going to have to fix that when we end up having to give this away to one of you subscribers because... Seeing the way he's going right now, this ain't gonna be fixed anytime soon. Nah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> all right, Sage is going for the first set of tools. Nah, I don't need tools. Uh, look at this guy. Wow, he's taking the engine cover off. Sage, how long did it take you to take that engine I cover off? I didn't even off? think about it. Look at the, look at the. <laughs> <laughs> look at all this, zoom in on this. The wiring harness shielding is literally crumbling apart in Sage's hands. Oh, look at it. Sage is doing something over here. We see something. Look at that. That's what, gotta be something. What do you think? I think that's gotta start. Well, remember what those were. We just switched them on the Corvette. All right, Sage. You passed clue number three. Okay, there we go. All right. Clue number four reads, you might have tried to take the day off, but I can tell that it was all just a fake cough. <laughs> you sound like this Monty trying to start, but without this, it can't even fart. I mean, that's like the most obvious thing in the world. He's not figured this one out yet. My God, you've tried. You might have tried to take the day off, but I can tell that it's just a fake cough. You sound like this Monty trying to start, but without this, it can't even fart. My God, he can't figure this one out. Sage, I don't even know what that means. Well, it means what it means. You ready to use a lifeline or what, buddy? I mean, the clock is ticking. No, it's really not. Though. We're still early. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I'm cutting it in half. He's only getting 30 minutes. He's he's less than 10 minutes in. Look at this. Next time we do this, I'm cutting the time. Well, or I'm making it substantially hard. harder. All right, this darn tapping, Sage. I'm taking the key out again. So while Sage is stuck on clue number four, uh, let's give you a brief history of the Monte Carlo. Really regarded as the finest car for people here in the South. A lot of them actually sound like this naturally, and uh, it's just the normal way they work. But this one, again, is a little bit better than that. It worked. This one is an SS. It comes with a taller rear spoiler and a V8 engine, nothing like a NASCAR. Now, I've been saying this is an LS base V8, that's what I was told by my friend Alex Palmieri at Legit Streetcars. And a lot of the internet says this is not an LS-based V8. So if you want to argue that, go ahead and email Alex Palmieri. Here's his email right here. I didn't say that. I'm just saying it in this video. So it does have a big V8. It's got around 300 horsepower. And that 300 horsepower goes right to those front drive wheels, baby, making it completely unusable. But it is what makes it quite a bit fun, too. I drove it down the street a little bit. It's kind of a fun car. I think I need that left line. You need the lifeline? Eh. How long is it going to be till you're ready? Yeah, Sage needs a lifeline right now. I got to have to pause the darn timer for him, which is giving him an advance because I see him looking at the car. Sage, don't look at the car. I'm chilling. I should have paid for Chris Fix. All right, goodbye. All right, he says he needs like uh, 
10 minutes or so. While we're waiting for our lifeline to be ready, I thought lifelines are always ready. Could you imagine if you needed like a lifeline on a sinking ship and this guy was your lifeline? It wouldn't be that very good of a lifeline. Anyway, Sage, we have the random alternative prize option. You ready? Yeah. The random alternative prize option. In that toolbox, in the third drawer in that toolbox is a white envelope. You can have the contents that are in that envelope which could be much more valuable than this. Or you could keep working to win the Monte Carlo, which is not guaranteed, even though you still got about 45 minutes left on the clock. I don't want the car, but now I'm kind of getting scared. Look, it is a good working car. It is one owner. One owner is always good. You know, that means they took it in, yeah. they got oil changes, and like things would break, and they say, we'll wait till next time, and we'll wait until next time. And then they just traded it in, you know. Yeah. And that's where I got it from. The anyway, the white envelope or the car. You got 30 seconds to choose. I'm taking the car. Okay. I have faith in Alex. All right. Well, we got to show him. Alex. Yeah, isn't that who I'm talking to? No, what? it's not Lifeline? Alex. But that, the Alex is the guy that said that this is an LS V8. If he said that this is an LS V8, you probably don't want to talk to Alex. No, I think it is an LS V8. Who's my Lifeline? Well, you're going to find out when they're ready. Which Lifeline would be late to everything he ever does? We have to show Sage what he missed out on. The white envelope, Sage, don't open it. Just go get the white envelope. It's in that toolbox is the envelope. All right, Sage, open it up. Show everybody what's in that envelope. It's a $1 off a dozen donuts at Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think I made the right choice. <laughs> well, it's a good deal, actually. Yeah. I might use no, that. No, I'm confident. This. We still have so much time left. I think... Uh, and I, I kind of give him a little bit of a fair shake here since we're waiting on the lifeline and I pause the timer, but this is not, my mom's calling actually, this is not the lifeline. <laughs> she would probably be a better lifeline though. Hello? Sage currently has 45 minutes left. And so right now we are calling the one and only lifeline that he has. Now he hasn't used any skips, that's pretty good. And the one and only lifeline right now. Baby. Hey, Rich. Yo. Hey, it's Sam. How are you? Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Sam who? What do you mean, Sam who? I talk to you all the time, Rich. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, Sam. Okay. Gotcha. okay. What's up, man? All right. I'm here with Sage. I'm giving him the opportunity to win a 2006 Monte Carlo SS. He only okay. has two minutes on the phone with you. Yeah, I got this. All right. Here we go. Here's the clue. You ready? All right, this is clue number four. You you might have tried to take the day off. This is true. This is true. He tried calling out sick this morning. Rich. Are you serious? He tried calling out sick, this guy. You, and like, listen to him. He sounds fine. You just heard him. Yeah. You, you, you might have tried to take the day off, but I can tell that it's just a fake cough. You sound like this Monty trying to start, but without this, it can't even fart. Okay, here's... Here's Sage. All right, what you think then? Hey, what's up, Sage? How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Sage, how do you like working for Sam? That's my biggest question for you. Uh, it's all right, man. It's all right. Wow. <laughs> no. all right. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It is what it is. All right, so what, so what, so what, what, what have you done with this thing so far? The, is it a Monte Carlo, you said? Yeah, it's a Monte Carlo. We did, uh, he unplugged the battery. We got that back on. Then he did uh, the ignition coils, and he yeah. we unplugged those. And now we got this last clue. Hope, or hopefully close to last, you know. He, Sage, let's be real here. He doesn't want you to get this car at all. Oh, we know. So yeah, it's, yeah. Is, it, is that obvious to you that he doesn't want you to have it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What? Uh, is this guy for real? Like, yeah, uh, Sage is like, yeah, okay. So what, what year is it? 2006. Monte Carlo. All right, which, uh, what, what, what model is you it? You got one minute left. You got one minute uh, left. It's, no, we got plenty of time. Is it was is it is it the is it the LT is it the what is it the S is it the SS? Oh, it's the it's the fast one. Something like that. Oh shoot, he got he got a good one. He doesn't want you to have this car at all. All right, so let's see. All I need from you. Uh, give me the um. Give me the VIN number. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> we ain't got time for that. All right. Well, I don't know. How am I supposed to help you? You got 30 seconds left. 30 seconds oh, left. All right, all right, okay. Okay. All right. So what's the clue? It won't even fart. Fart. Yeah. Fart. Dude, it's gotta be like the, uh, the, the exhaust muffler or something. All right. What else? What else goes with? Hold on. I really want you to give Sage a good clue here, but my God, <laughs> what, what goes along with farting? Gas. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. Is it gas? There's no gas in it. 
Sage, Rich, you were no help. Sage just figured yeah, it out no, finally. No, I Goodbye. thought that. There was, there was no gas here. I'm hanging up the phone. No help. I, see, I thought that, but there's no gas scanner on here. Okay, well, go see. I mean, the car's got a gas meter. It's like a modern Monte Carlo. Even an old one's got it. Finally, look. Rich was of no help. Yeah, that was that just killed two minutes. <laughs> Need to open the trunk. Yeah. What do you mean? He's looking at the trunk. There's literally a... Okay, whatever. He's gonna. Well, go no, dude, I'm looking trunk. for a gas can. Okay. Uh, how many people watching this right now? Let me know in the comments. When I said the word fart, you immediately thought gas. No one thought that. All right, so we got fuel. How much? Half a tank. It came from the auction with a half a tank. What a bargain this car was. When do you ever have that happen? Without no. this. Geez, see, this is where Sage, Sage is confident. Remember, I'm confident. I'm still confident. I mean, I really would love to help this kid out. I mean, yeah, no. I think it's minutes. time to plug the scanner in. Okay, there you go. There's okay. We're trying something at least. At least. He totally doesn't need the scanner. All right, Sage. Let's see what that scanner tells us. This is one of the most convoluted scanners I have. It asks you a million different questions, takes you through a million different screens, and it's really difficult to operate. Like I said, he doesn't even need it. The car does have a check engine light, though, and it's for like a vacuum leak, so that won't stop it from actually running. I'll tell him that once he gets the code scan, but right now the clock is running, and this is the beginning of the hard part. Sage, can you hear me at all? You can't hear no, me. No, it's loud tapping. in here, no. Oh, the tapping is going on well. <laughs> Sage is down to 37 minutes and 45 seconds. I don't know if I believe that. Yeah, you are. You're down Module? to 37 minutes and 45 seconds. See, now I'm just kind of staring at stuff. Remember the rules. Everything you like. Oh, I'm gonna skip this one. There we go. You gotta skip it. Yeah. Look, you used the lifeline and a skip on the same one. All yeah, right. Yeah, because the lifeline was trash. We've got to go back to it. All right, Sage. Here's the next clue. Oh, you're so close. You thought you had won, but the game's just beginning. You're far from being done. Just kidding, Sage. You're almost there. Stay sharp in the moment and put on a matching pair. But where will you get them? There's little time left. Just take your sweet time and one long breath. Sage is like really confused at this point. That's great. This is what I set out to do. Is yeah, I think so. Guy. Take one long breath. Yeah. I'm being silent because I'm trying to find another lifeline for Sage since that last one was so crummy. I should have known better. Let me let me do this. The lifeline could come from the very people that also want this car. Sage has 21 minutes and 48 seconds left. He skipped the fourth clue. He's currently on the fifth. And again, we don't know exactly how many clues there are until this car just starts up and runs. Now what I did to see if I could throw Sage one more lifeline, I wrote a community post on YouTube, which only my subscribers can see. And it says, right now, Sage is rummaging through an auction car I broke on purpose. If he can figure out what's wrong and get it running, he will get the car for free, but he only has 20 minutes left and he's run all out of lifelines. If Sage doesn't win, I told him I'm giving it to a subscriber instead. You decide whether he gets one last hint. This will literally be the last hint. He at least we know has two more hurdles to cross, at least. The first 100 people are gonna decide this and it's pretty clear what's happening. Oh, it just tipped a little bit in the other favor. Sage, you said I'm confident. I was oh. confident about 30 minutes ago. We were yeah. on a roll. We were on a good roll. And by the way, like I said, only subscribers can see these posts. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, especially if you like this sort of video. I'd love to actually give a car away in this fashion, maybe with somebody with a little bit more mechanical wherewithal. Anyway, Sage, they're definitely gonna choose you. So I told you just now, there is no way I would stick my hand in a fuel tank to sabotage this car. Things are much simpler than that. You have all the things you need on that golf cart. If you're diagnosing anything when you're working on a car, whether it be fuel, whether it be air, whether it be spark, whether it be anything, where's the first place you always look? The battery, I don't know. <laughs> Where are they? The simplest place. Oh, the fuse box? Okay, so I don't know what it is, 
But I'm saying, where's the simplest thing? If you've got oh, a fuel related okay. issue, what could be the simplest place to look? Sage currently has under 20 minutes left. What is he doing? What's we'll, Sage doing? We're looking for the fuse box. He's looking for the fuse box. It, actually, here we go. We got a little manual. Look at that. The manual coming in clutch. Nobody uses those anymore. And half the time, they don't even come with the car. <laughs> Love that tapping. Sage, you're going to like, you're going to get used to that when you're driving this car. Because clearly the subscribers do not want it. They voted for you to win this. Electrical system. Wow, Sage is even like a slow reader as well. But at least he can read. I know he can read because I've... Actually, can you read, Sage? Look at him. He's going to fix the tapping noise before we even... Hi, I'm starting to think the fuel, fuse box is in the back, right? How much do I have to spoon feed this kid? D he took my phone. What you know? were you just using? What were you just using? The what is going to show you exactly I, where the fuse lot. box is? What are you? I mean, I cannot believe this. He literally is like he's going. He's going to win a Dude, free car. It's such a thick book. See, in my day, I'm so old that we had things called glossaries and indexes that told you exactly where everything is. I remember those. And guess what? This car is old enough to have a glossary or an index in its manual. I know for a fact because I actually looked at it. All right, we're getting there. He's getting there. We're about on the page. Where we should find out where the thing's at. 14 minutes and 36 seconds left. Fuse box. Electrical. Hello. Yeah, you have one Here. 32 ounce container. Oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, did, did you call about the calamari? Did Michael call you about the calamari? I like how he's looking for a fuse box. Look at the picture on the front of that fuse box. It's like, uh, it's yeah. really like a fuse. I still got time, I'm not worried. Sage has really got this, he's got this confidence, man. 13 minutes, 44 seconds remaining. What are we looking for on there, Sage? Oh, we were looking for fuel pumps in there. Okay, let's see, Sage is plugging something in here. Notice it's not being plugged in. No. This is a quick education for anybody watching that doesn't know anything about cars. Not all slots in a fuse box are used by something because these fuse boxes are used from car to car through General Motors lineup. So. No, but it's got it right here, you know. Well, it could be, but does it tell you what it's for? What does it say it's for? Right what? Spot? I don't know. Huh. Yeah. Well, would that stop it from running? I don't know. I don't know. I'd be my got to think. Google, you know. Okay, I think we got something going here. Sage has got 12 minutes flat left, 12 minutes, and he's pulling out. What did he just pull out? Let's see what he's got. Let's see, I need a better view of this. Now, what is that a relay for, Sage? I see you're this pulling out. This is a starter. Out. Starter relay, yeah. okay. Now, why in, I mean, I swear, how did much you guys spoon for him? Why in the hell would he be pulling the starter relay when the car is a crank? No, and I'm pulling it so I can get a better view at the other one. Okay, sure okay, fair enough, there. if that's all you're doing. Here it is, 10 minutes, 10. 10 minutes, about to be under 10 minutes. Literally, you have under 10 minutes and you still I've have lost at least faith. two clues. I just keep looking at this, I don't see anything missing. Yeah, Rich, gas, fart, gas, you get it? <laughs> Come on. I guarantee you half the people watching figure that. I get how you could think it's an exhaust as well, but it's definitely that. No, he's still stuck on this. He's looking in the fuse box. I mean, could you imagine the freaking kid? He's like looking at the fuse box. He's looking for missing fuses. He doesn't even pull a fuse for God's sake to see if it's blown. Why would you put a blown like fuse in there? He doesn't even think about that. Yeah, he's got more than one clue left. All right, yeah, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. He didn't hear me, did he? Oh, there we go. Sage, I hope you're replacing that with a correct amperage of fuse. Oh, I am. Eight minutes, 45 seconds left. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, there my we God, go. look at that. You better get that stuff out of the way, man. Look at this guy. Look at how confident he is. Look at him taking his time, going slow. How much time we got? Five minutes? What are you going to do over that five minutes? I'm going to drive it over there. Don't we got to pass the finish line? You got to get past the finish line. Yeah. Seven minutes and 30 seconds left, Sage. Well, now I'm thinking, does it go into gear is the question. Uh, I mean, I don't know. You better figure it out. It better. It's seven minutes, you know. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Look at this. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> oh, the, the. Hey, Sage. Hey, Sage. Did it shut off? Yo. Did that car just shut off? Hold on. Did the car just shut off? <laughs> that thing made it way farther than I thought it would. We good? Yeah. Sage, do you remember what I was saying over there? About the fart, yeah. Right? You had two things. And which one did you fix? Yeah, we fixed to fix the gas, it was, so we got fuel. I don't even know why it died. We were cruising too. Sage has literally five minutes remaining. Five minutes remaining to get this car. Look, right there, okay? This is the last one. Oh, you're so close. You thought you had won. You've already heard this. Yeah. But the game's just beginning. You're far from being done. Just kidding, Sage. You're almost there. Stay sharp in the moment and put on a matching pair. But where will you get them? There's little time left. Just take your sweet time and one long breath. Now, the only other problem is your golf cart's all the way over there if you need a tool. No, no, well, what's going on with the car? Well, well, I mean, why might you need to take a breath? Because we need... I don't know. We need something with the intake. Well, you better figure it out because literally you have... <laughs> you have four minutes remaining. Dude, it's running so good, too. So we unplug it, plug it back in, see if it starts back see, up. He's questioning, he's questioning old stuff. No, no, I'm plugging it back in. If it ran once, I'll push it off, you know? Okay, let's see what happens. Now it's a no crank, no start. You've got two minutes and 20 seconds left. Two minutes and 20 seconds left. And he's checking fuses in with two minutes left. Not much else to check, you know? I mean, I don't know how that's going to help you take one long breath, but you know. Yeah, so what would? It'd be, you're literally just an intake. One long breath. Hmm, I don't know. You know? Everything's plugged in with the intake. Do you think Sage can figure this out in less than one and a half minutes? There's a cow coming out. Oh, it's okay. I'll just make it harder for Sage to get this out. He's yeah. a lot of pressure. Uh, I mean, look at how far, look how close he is. This is the problem. People that grew up in Sage's day and age, they just expect, they think like, okay, this is like a participation contest, right, Sage? Yeah. You so ever got a participation trophy? I never got a participation trophy. I had to work. Did you? For that runner-up trophy <laughs> I always got. But this literally, Sage, I hate to count you down. You got 16 seconds left. He's trying to start it. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm slower than this is. I'll you go off my account. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sage, you lost the game. It happens like that, I guess. You lost the game, Sage. So what's the answer? What is it? He lost the game. I really thought he was going to win the game. I really did. I wanted you to win the game, Sage. I, I, I'm pretty close. That's, that you hurt. are really close. Yeah, it happens like that. He started the car. No, you can't push it. Part of the rules is has to make it on four wheels. I should have thrown the in the neutral and had him going. Yeah. See, I, I stopped him up at the end there. I said, hey, Sage. I know, is that what the plan was? Yeah, you didn't think he was gonna make it. Yeah, because, well, there's one more clue. That was the one more clue, literally on the last clue. Take a long, deep breath. How thorough are you on some of the work you do? On some mm, of the- Give me that 75%, okay. you know how it is. You were sitting there just doing this to the air intake box. Oh, is it this, is it this, is it this, is it? How thorough are you? What, is it just like? Take the thing apart. Sit on it. All right, Sage. You know, Chevrolet never figured out how to not put noises in the car when you leave the key in it. Whether it's the tapping coming from the dashboard or it's that binging noise. Look at Sage, he's determined. I'm curious. Yeah, I do. I'm still confused. What'd you do? 
Well, I mean, I don't know. You got to know. But what do you, what do you see? Do you see something? Camera person sees something. Hmm. Oh, God. Okay. What's that? I'm pissed. Yeah, put on a fresh pair. All right, put your finger in the blade of the throttle body, push it back, and pull the sock out. And so basically what happens is that sock gets stu stuck in the blade of the throttle body, and when it doesn't close all the way or close most of the way during idle, it gets stuck open, and it tells the car something is wrong, and it permanently shuts off until you do that. That's crazy. It made it as far as it did. It did. I was honestly like, I was like, what is going on? He's driving. I made it like literally a few feet. Okay. When I initially did this test and when I did that, dude, the car stopped and I go, oh, shoot, I broke it. How am I going to get this reset? I put in code readers and everything and I, oh, it's just, you know, it's the socks. Maybe we got to take yeah. those socks out of the intake. All the cows are coming to celebrate. What are they celebrating? A law? <laughs> Now we got to do the obligatory part in the game show where we make everybody feel bad that they lost what they lost, but it's, you know, it's part of the deal. And Sage again, he's the thoroughness, Sage, the thoroughness, like leaving oh. an air filter out of the air box, okay? He came here today, Monte carlo list. He leaves here today, Monte carlo list. you know? That is true. Yeah, I mean, what's like, what sort of... But you know how like people, they compete in game shows and it's like... They still, like, they'll send them home with, like, a, a gift basket. Huh. That tool set is yours to keep. Oh, sick. I appreciate that. There you go. Oh, thank All you. right. I'm not that bad of a <laughs> human being. I got him the tool set. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> it's a nice tool. The camera person is cringing right now. They're like, the fact that Sage failed to do it for Dale today means that one of you guys is going home with a Monte Carlo SS, but not in this condition. We're going to spruce this thing up. We're going to get rid of that tapping noise in the interior, fix up that broken window regulator and refresh this car's paint all while giving it a mechanical tune-up and making it solid for its second owner. But we will give Sage one more shot at redemption right now. If this video can get 75,000 likes, we will have a redemption sabotage auction car video with a different car of equal or greater value to the Monte Carlo SS. So go ahead and hit that like button right now. Now really, I thought Sage was gonna end up with this car, so I didn't really plan all the details to the giveaway. I've gotta type up something for here within 72 hours of the release of this video I will be posting on my Instagram page and on my YouTube community page all the information you need in order to take home the Monte Carlo SS in spruced up condition so go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now if you're not already and follow me over on Instagram that is where you're gonna find out first we will have an update video on this car since we will be fixing it up here in order to give it away to any you guys so make sure you be on the lookout for a follow-up video guys I hope you enjoyed this one if you did well when you hit that like button again you give sage another shot at redemption of course I gotta thank each and every one of you for watching today I'll catch you very soon <music>